patients, EGF mutation lung cancer is highly prevalent in Asia. And uh, after osimertinib failure, the uh, treatment options are limited and the standard is still chemotherapy. However, chemotherapy has a limited CNS efficacy such that patients may progress uh, in the brain while after they stop the osimertinib. And so we pro uh, performed a retrospective study to answer the question whether if we continue osimertinib in this setting would actually reduce CNS progression. So in essence, we retrospectively reviewed 180 patients in our center who actually failed first or second line osimertinib and received platinum-based chemotherapy. 82 patients of them had baseline CNS metastasis, with 30 of them receiving osimertinib plus chemo and 52 receiving chemotherapy alone. And when we reviewed the CNS data, uh, actually the use of osimertinib plus chemo, continuing osimertinib, actually reduced the CNS progression compared to chemotherapy with a hazard ratio of 0.32 and also reduced the salvage whole brain irradiation rate with a hazard ratio of 0.24. The progression-free survival extracranial, how, extracranially, however, was not statistically significant uh, between two groups. These findings actually I would say echo with the FLORA2 data, where the use of osimertinib plus chemotherapy may be synergistic in, uh, in tackling the CNS metastasis. As we see, the CNS complete response rate is 48% in the osim plus chemo group versus 16% in the chemotherapy group in those with measurable large CNS metastasis. So I think our retrospective study provided some data in continuing uh, osimertinib together with chemotherapy after osimertinib progression in reducing the CNS breakthrough rate, especially in those with known CNS uh, involvement.